Here we're looking at a Newmar Country Star 3717. Let's have a quick look on the outside before we go in. Look at the size of these deep bays lined <coughs> with carpet. It must be uh, just a slide out optional, but these do not have any installed. Here is your exterior TV, which is kind of unusual in this day and age. Most of them are up a little higher with a Bose sound bar. This is a single axle coach. There's some more storage here, and here are your chassis batteries here. Now, that's one big door there. Oop. Not everyone, this actually opens up to the top, which is also rather unusual. There we go. Closing, and now let's go into the coach and see what's waiting for us. All right, it's Marie. Hey there. Man, sometimes it's really interesting to see some of these coaches. And uh, it's, it's really a fascinating thing to watch. But this is another great coach. Look at the nice steering wheel. Yeah, look at the doubles of the tabletop. <laughs> you know, actually, I've seen people do that. They actually do that. And at Christmas time, they put a plank of wood and they put Christmas trees here. So, yeah, I guess, you, you know, you can be very inventive. But there's all the controls again are pretty much at level. You've got your telephone controls, your speaker controls, your blinker controls. You have beeping noises. Basically, you've got your leveling system. It's an automatic system. Ben's turning on the dash so you can see that it is digital. And then you have, of course, your, your camera, radio, and everything right in this area so you can see what you're towing. You have a nice place for your phone with a wireless charger. Charging. No, I think there's a charger here, but it's, yeah, actually that's wireless too, I think. I wasn't quite sure. See, I think it's just a tray. Well, you always put your phone down there. Yeah, and, find and out, charge huh? it right there. Well, I guess I could uh -huh. do that. Okay. See, I didn't think it was wireless. Well, maybe not, but maybe okay. also we have a cover on too. So. Yeah, it could be. So it may be, but I don't think so. We have a drawer down here, a little one you can put change and stuff in for tolls. And then you have a bigger drawer down here. You can put all your snacks in. You know, your Oreo cookies, your potato chips. And I guess you guys know what I eat now. <laughs> and then up here, we have all kinds of cabinets. Ah! Okay, up here we have all our controls. You can see you've got your wine guard here. Got you've... satellite up above. Mm-hmm. You want to tell them what else is up there? Well, uh, it says... Newmar just has a little box here that says Newmar 68-69. Okay, over here we got four storage areas, which is kind of cool. Over here is wires and such, but you also have your day and night shades that come down. They are electronic, so I'm not going to mess with those. You do have your passenger chair with your desk right here, so you can work if you want. It pulls out and goes over your lap. It's a really nice feature that I love. I love anything with a desk up front. Our old gas coach used to be a Thor Miramar. Sorry, Newmar, but we're not in it anymore. But we used to love the pull-out desk in uh, in our Miramar. Don't have it now, but... Well, I found one thing I don't like right away. What's that? Floor vents. Oh, yes. Obviously, propane coach. Okay. Yeah, and the other thing we don't like them for is we have cats. If you have cats with toys, you got to be careful about slides and vents. So, and we... cat food and catnip. <laughs> Over here we have our televator back in here. A couple cabinets and the sound bar up here. This one here is your connection to your satellite and other. And over here you've got two small cabinets on either side. And again, Newmar puts this here, which is not one of my favorite things. It's almost like fake cabinets because you only get half of the space that it looks like. And why not make them just smaller cabinets and you know probably wouldn't look right, but I understand, but it's just eh. Anyway, you have your couch here, which I have no idea. I think it's just a stationary couch. I feel and, it might be a jack over itself, here is, I don't really know. Just, there's really no way to uh, uh -huh. to tell for sure unless you... Oh, maybe that's it. Okay. Well, maybe you're lifting up on... Ah, it's got something there. I thought you don't bring it. Well, here's this switch here. Uh, right he there. found it. Ben found it. There we go. There jack we go. night sofa. Look at all the storage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope that film looks real good on camera. Actually, what's here? Hey, do a quick little jump here. Okay, the... the jackknife sofa right here. 
and here's Ben struggling to put it back. <laughs> and over here we have our recliners for the TV set. So these do recline. Now, the one thing I noticed when I was sitting here, I was inspecting the drink holders and I was inspecting this nice and deep cubby here with a little tray, which is really nice. But one thing I like about Newmar, but at the same time I dislike, is the control panels on the wall are great. But if you have arthritis or you have back problems and you want to turn around to turn off the lights, you got to do this and this hurts, okay? So just the point, if they would have put them on the wall here or someplace where you didn't have to twist and turn, it'd be so much nicer. And see, like over here, they're on this wall, they're still to the back, you know, I, but I, if you kind of memorize what they are, I could do these better, but mm -hmm. just, a, just a point. But uh, I do love the light switches and where they're everywhere on the wall. I just wish they were a little more accessible. A um, couple outlets here, which is nice. And moving into the dining room, which has the same type of can that's all the way across into the living room. So you have three here, and then of course none in the dining room, as I just said. <laughs> they're invisible cabinets. Sorry, they're folks. in stealth mode. I was so focused twisting, I, I was twisted the wrong way, so I do apologize. But there are, there are cabinets are only in the uh, living room area here. The dining room has a nice boot dinette. Ooh, I had breakfast earlier. Look what I got now. <laughs> okay, Dilar, you win. Dessert, I'll take it. <laughs> I love the way they stage these coaches. But in reality, folks, your coach isn't going to look like this once you start living in it. Uh, what do we have? All storage under the seat. We do. This one, here, hold on to that. This one actually has a pull-out drawer and the cushion is lift up. Yes. Put so that there. a dual way to entry it. And here. But of course, Ben had to do it the hard way first. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I, I don't know if they have one on both sides, so it's. I don't feel like it. Oh, actually, it does. Look at that. Both sides have the pull-out drawer and, there's and your the push belts. lifts up too. Mm -hmm. So we can use Valances. They're okay. I mean, they're. Typical. I, I don't find I nothing don't think special about them. The cats would be too tempted to claw those. Yeah, if you had cats, it's probably not a good idea because they would think this is a scratching post. They tend to attract They look that. pretty, though. But not everybody has cats, so. Oh, I like this. The Travel, bus explore, right there. and live. That's nice. Wow, look at this. It's, uh, it's like an island here. It's and... like an island kitchen. You got your sink here. You're able to kind of watch TV while you're doing the dishes. And pretty deep sinks, too. Really the slider nice. just comes right over that, probably stops at the sink. Mm hmm. Very nice. Gives you a little L shape here. Gives you some extra store. Oh, man, donuts. I'm just doing good today. Look. Donuts. Donuts. Ah. Okay, that's our over cabinet space. You got plenty of space for your dishes, your glasses. It's a fixed panel over the microwave. That's not just a microwave, that's a microwave convention oven. Ta-da! Ta-da! You figured it out. Yeah. It's a nice size one, too. That's a Whirlpool. And it looks like we have a gas cooktop. We do. This is a gas stove. You can see the gas cooktop. Three burner. Uh-huh. And, and below it, we have some drawers. We have a number of drawers. That's three yeah. drawers right there. Is that bottom one actually come out? You yeah, I'm going to try the middle one. Yeah, the bottom. Blank oh, ones. They're, pre they're pretty long, too, about two foot. And then over here, you got three more. We'll just see the top and bottom one here, real quick. Again, about two foot long, maybe a little longer. That than one's that. surprisingly shallow for the uh, door itself. And here's the remote control drawer. Two, three, four, five, six. There's only six. I'm disappointed. And here is the backup sponge drawer. Okay, if that's the backup, where's the first one? All right. <laughs> and here we go. We have a space here for our garbage can. And then they're storing the uh, kitchen sink panels underneath there. So this is a pretty neat kitchen. Moving on down the way, we do have our refrigerator. It is a Whirlpool. Let's open it up. There's your water filter. There's your warranty. And over here is your freezer. It's a two drawer freezer, which is nice. It lets you organize, you know, vegetables, meats, whatever, you know, desserts. 
You also have a pantry for the kitchen area, which is here. They're all fixed shelves, but they go back. Wow. They go back farther than I can reach, folks. Yeah, that's, it's almost three feet. Yeah, it's got to be three feet deep. Yeah, this, well, you can see it's about as deep as a refrigerator, so... Lots. It literally is like an inch shorter than the refrigerator. So Lots of pantry space. A lot of pantry space. And there's a cabinet drawer above it. And there's also one above the refrigerator that I can see at this angle. I probably could never use that. How deep is that? Uh, well, not quite as deep as the town that's next to them, but I'd okay. say about considerably 24 inches. And there's one more little pantry drawer. It's one a more, more. narrow. Uh -huh. This isn't also as deep as that one. It's well, about half the distance, I guess. Now, what I would do personally, I would take these two shelves out. And I would make this the broom closet. It's perfect, long width, a couple hooks on the side of it. Well, the thing is, I don't think you can actually remove those shells without mo some modification or fits. That's what a saber saw is for. All right, well, here is the... The middle bath. Is the middle bath. Oh, it's a complete bath. It's got a shower. And it's also got a medicine cabinet. It's got a little drawer on the side here. Some of these drawers are so new, they're very stiff. So if you see me struggling to get some of them out, they're just tight. Little vanity uh, vessel sink. Little vessel sink. And here, why don't you check out this shower? Well, we still have a couple one you more. You want me to open the drawer? I can side. open this drawer. There's a basically under the sink cabinet. All right, well, how, how's the business end right there? Well, I can still stretch out my feet. Well, only with the door open, though. No, right, I don't, let's, I don't. let's see how well difficult it is for me to get in here. Uh, he doesn't like those bars too much. Take ah, cut off his it's head. a little tight. You know, if you shut the door, me, first you should... I'm fairly slender. Yeah, but you didn't have the door shut. So there well, you go. If you shut the too. door, that helps. All right, well, here we are in the bathroom. This is an adjustable shower head. Uh, I'd say height wise is actually pretty darn good. Heads up, the nozzle is right kind of at my chin neck level and you can see this bar here cuts it well, off so i can see this is about a nine out of ten what do you think folks how much you think of the shower and what do you look for on the shower it has a little grip right here so in case she's driving and going down the road i can hold on for dear life and once and again you, you realize comments. much as this door is an interesting design if you have it open, you cannot get into the shower very comfortably, and neither can you stretch your legs out. And it also has a little towel rack up here. A little towel rack. Not many. Towel hook, I guess. I'm also. <laughs> oh, actually, that is the only shower. The one and only. Ooh, look at the velvet. Look how soft that is. Yes, I wish we had sensor vision. We could show you how soft the fabric is. Okay, we got four overhead cabinets, and they are all passed through. Similar, yes. Uh -huh. And there through. is a plug and all up there for a pap. And over here, we have this neat little candle. I was thinking maybe it hit something, but it doesn't. And we do have our charging and plug right here with a teeny little drawer here. And it probably is exactly the same on the other side, Ben. It is. Okay, so let's look at the drawer. Let's look at the closet first, since we're right here. Look at this big closet with the mirrors. And again, it's a new one, and I think it's... It's a lock right there, There's I a think. lock somewhere. Well, right there. Yeah, there See? it is. Uh, I'm not sure. There it goes. All right, there we go. Okay. Hey, you know what? This is pretty good. Watch this. It's ah. a very cute Hey, honey, look. This closet. I think I can make it an office. It's got a chair here. I can sit back and I can read and relax. It's got a nice little light up here. Oh, and look at this. If I put one of those air suspension uh, uh, handles here, I can make myself a little computer laptop area. Perfect for an office. I can put a bulletin board or a picture right here. And these old fuses and circuit breakers won't even bother me once I put that picture up there and my bulletin board for what I'm going to do. And... It's really easy to get out of this office. Ah. Nice landing. Okay, moving on. See how hard it makes me work, folks? Okay, over here is the washer and dryer that we saw the access panel that I was using for a desk. And really, it should be a closet folks it's really not meant as an office i was just joking in case you want to take me seriously but you could do it 
Over here we have a two shelf cabinet. We have two cabinets here. Two cabinets? Drawers. And down below there are also three drawers. I'm just going to open up the middle one so you can see the size. Up above there's also some more space. You have two cabinets here. And over here is all the TV access connections. And here of course is a 32 inch television. Exactly. Well thank you for joining us on this walkthrough. And we hope you'll remember to open the doors to adventure and start all your journeys with the RVTs. Have a great day, folks.